Hi, I'm going to present to you how the iTab digital eyeglasses work. Uh, here's a pair of older iTab digital eyeglasses from the late 90s. And as you can see, all the components are fairly visible for you to, for you to see. One of the things you'll notice is that positioned at, my, at the eye of the user is the iTap, it's, it's iTap's camera. So the camera is not actually at the user's eye. What is actually happening is that you're seeing a reflection of the camera. The camera is located on the nose bridge here. So the iTap consists of three components, a display, a diverter, a beam splitter, and then a camera. So when the light comes in, it hits the diverter or beam splitter, which is a reflective surface, and then the light partially goes, goes through to the eye here, and then part of the light goes through to the camera here and gets processed by a computer, and then redisplayed to the eye through the, through the display here. The, the light from the display hits the, the back of the diverter here and gets reflected into the eye. So the user gets a combination of synthetic light that's been taken by the camera and processed by a computer and then redisplayed to the eye and the original real light that goes straight to the eye. So it's a combination of real and virtual light that the user sees. So what we're doing now is putting on a pair of iTap digital eyeglasses. And as, you, as we see before, um, when we put these on to the, the digital camera, you can see through the iTap eyeglasses and you can see the real light from the scene. Now as you can see uh, the, from the real light and from scene, it looks like a normal scene, but we're turning on the display now. And you can see the reflection from the diverter um, of the display. And that, what this allows us to do, because we have the camera feed and we're reprocessing the, the scene through the camera feed, we're redisplaying to the eye uh, a synthetic version of the scene. So what we're doing is we're putting real light and mixing it with uh, synthetic light. And as you can see, we're, what we're trying to do is align um, the cat, what the camera feed is receiving to the real scene itself. So now we're aligning these two objects and you can see that the, the real light is still coming through but the, the uh, mediated virtual light is also being uh, displayed and they're in line and this is important for mediated and augmented reality it allows us to um, combine the, re the uh, mediated light in a way that's collinear, that's exactly in line with the scene. And as you can see, we're just turning it on and off to uh, make sure that it's ca perfectly calibrated. So now we have the system calibrated and we can begin to do some augmented or mediated reality uh, application. So what we see here is a virtual tag, and virtual tags are very common to augmented reality applications. But what's interesting is that we actually don't require a marker. It's a markerless tracking that's happening. And you can see that the tag stays in the same position that we've, uh, we've tagged it in. Um, in fact, when uh, this is happening, uh, we're actually doing a featureless tracking. And as you can see, even obstructions like hands or other objects don't interfere with the tag's positioning. So the tag is, uh, once it's affixed, we can use this in various applications. We can tag all kinds of objects with various data that might be useful to the user, um, tag environments, uh, map directions, all kinds of things using this featureless tracking for, tag, for the tag. And as you can see, the tag is actually uh, resistant. It's staying in position, and even with the camera rotating or moving around, um, the tag is still there.
So here we have James, and uh, the iTap eyeglasses are displaying his tag based on recognizing his face. And as you can see, uh, we can track James. And what's nice about the iTap is that uh, the real light is still gone through, so it's very natural interaction with the world. You're not being blocked from it. You're just getting this extra synthetic light information. So you're still receiving the real light mixed in with some synthetic light, which is something you'd want in the real world. So one of the applications of mediated reality is what we call edgeware, which means remote users can label objects like here, the knob is being labeled by the user remotely, and is able to communicate with the user by modifying their vision. So because the, the ITAP system allows for the camera and display to be placed in the eye, that can be connected to any remote user and that can be used for visual collaboration. So here the instruction was to tell the user to turn the knob and the user um, is given this instruction right on the knob that they're supposed to turn. Now we see an application like this being very useful for many applications where it's required to have your hands free, where you need to collaborate visually. Um, there's uh, technicians that could benefit from this. Um, even just going to the grocery store and deciding which milk to buy and having someone point out the, um, the actual milk that you should be buying visually.